How do y'all feel about like the border crisis? Like, what do you think would be your solution? I feel like that whole border thing have two sides of it because I was raised here, but I'm also from the other side. So it's kind of hard to be like, oh yeah, let everybody in. But it's kind of hard to say like, don't let anybody in because I wouldn't right. be here if it right. wasn't for that. See, that's what I was saying like about my mom. I would have never been born. Like I wouldn't even exist right. if she wouldn't have got here. I feel like immigrants do jobs that people really don't want to do. Like they make cheaper labor for people, everything like that. What's up, y'all? This is the Grind and Prosper podcast, episode number 23. Yeah, I got uh, Fat Keys right here with me. And I have good friends of mine, Jose and Renato. Uh, they're brothers. And I'll just go ahead and uh, let them introduce themselves and, and what they do. <coughs> so whichever one of y'all wants to go first. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. All right. Renato. So what I do is I'm a nurse, Fort Worth dialysis. I've been grinding that for about a few months. I've been a nurse for about a little bit over a year. And I just been bouncing out from like degree to degree in like different careers and stuff, different colleges. And, you know, basically I kind of just wasted my time, you know, changing my mind and stuff. So, Cause you really don't know what to do, you know, at the beginning. Right. People go from high school to college and they just want to do like an easy stuff. You know, at the end of the day, they're not going to be happy with what they do. And True. that's how it was, you know? So like, basically I kind of just like woke up one day and like, Hey, you know, I need to start, start being so indecisive. So I just needed a good career stability, you mm -hmm. know, and, you know, you're always going to learn in this field. So I decided to go ahead and do the nursing career, hit up my nursing friends, get some feedback, and then I started pursuing it. And I'm not even done yet. I'm a nurse now, but I'm going to keep going to school and start, like, yeah. pursuing my education, you know, higher. You know, maybe I'll end up being, like, a practitioner or a doctor. Who, you know, who the hell knows, you know. So sure, you're, you're always sure. learning. And so, I mean, this is – I never really thought I was going to be a nurse to begin with, you know. Do you enjoy it, like, that, that line of work, the field? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's nice. It's interesting. You see something new every day. Mm -hmm. um, you're always learning. You think you know everything. Even if you've been a nurse for about 40 plus years, you, you're not going to know everything. Something yeah, new is always going to pop true. up, you know. So, I mean, that's that's the most interesting thing to me is that you're always going to be learning and, like, you know, me seeing new things, meeting new people, and you can actually, like, find different jobs as far as nursing. You don't have to be true. just a nurse. Yeah, you know? just meeting people, they probably can guide you in the right yeah, direction because they, you. man, you need to come over here and try this out. Like, yeah, like traveling. You can be, yeah. like, doing all kinds of Meet stuff. Meet people you know? from all around the states. and yeah educator and stuff mm -hmm. so i mean that's usually and i never really thought myself doing that i i was telling myself like i'm never gonna be a nurse that's just way too hard it has a lot of math all really, the blood too like the blood. <laughs> you know I, I don't know this the stuff y'all would see yeah yeah i mean it's not i, I like gory shit you know I oh like so it's that. right up your alley man. yeah like, i don't know if you've seen saw i've seen all that oh, shit bro shit. like i fuck with all that you know i love yeah. to see blood guts <laughs> decapitation no that ass though nah, but shit so it sounds like you find your calling. Yeah, for sure. And I yeah. mean, like I said, you know, I'm still going to be doing it. Right. But I mean, it's, it's just something that I enjoy doing, you know. Like I said, I never really saw myself doing it in the beginning because it's just like like little things like the, the schooling, like the math, like how hard right. it is, the, the level of education. That, you know, I just I said, fuck it, you know, I'm going to go ahead and challenge myself and I finally end up doing it. Thanks. So it's just if you're interested in something, then you're going to pursue it, you know. like Yeah, like I got to find the next level to this. It's like a game. You, you beat one level, uh, I mean. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to master that shit. Yeah, for yeah. real. I mean, you got to really want it, though, you know? You got to yeah, want it. Yeah, it's something you actually wake up and be like, man, I'm excited. Yeah, so you you do it every day. You you make yourself the goal, and then you just kind of finish it. You go into the finish line. Like, fuck it, I made it this too far. Yeah. Like, this far. No, it's, yeah, no really, because, <laughs> yeah. like, I, like, like I said, I went straight from high school to college. You know, I don't know what the hell I yeah. wanted to do. And so I just, I finally decided, well, I'm already too too invested in the college. and too much money into it, so I might as well just go ahead and finish with right. something. So that's what I did, you know, so. That's a good way to think, though. Like, that way nothing was wasted, you know what I mean? And no, yeah. It led you to where you are now. Yeah, it really is. And that's like, awesome. It's like full-time, uh, you know, school, and you got work. I had to work on top of that, you yeah. know. And a lot of people are like, that's too much, you know. Full -time. Like, did it help shape you? Oh, like, yeah, 100%, you know, because, like, I see, like, all of the, these females, like, <coughs> guys and, like, uh, girls that are, like, married and have kids and stuff, working full-time, taking care of their family and still going to school. I don't have any kids. I have no excuse. You know what I'm saying? So I can just go ahead and like just throw that out the window and just keep Yeah, going. that's a good way. Yeah. Let me let me uh go ahead and let you introduce sure, yourself too sure. before we get too far. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, my name is Jose Paredes. Uh, I'm a bartender and a part time house flipper. I also uh polled long term. I've only got two properties so far, but 
kind of what I'm dabbling into right now. Okay. All right, say how did you get into that? Into real estate? Yeah. Oh, man, I just kind of one day we were talking about it earlier, man. We were just I was kind of at the bar, you know, and I was like, man, I just don't want to be doing this like for the rest of my life, you know. So mm-hmm. I decided, well, I'm gonna hey, get out of here. Hey, you see a whole bunch of drunk people? Yeah, yeah like, I was I like, I need to start doing something. He, he was drunk and visualizing it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bro, low key, I was just kind of at the bar, like everybody was drunk, and I was like, dang. I was He's like, like I, I gotta st- be around these people my <laughs> whole life. <laughs> I, 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 don't know if been, I don't know if you've ever been in a bar, but like you'd be seeing the pe- same people like yep. yeah. Yeah. every year, yeah. right? So it's like, man, I, I've seen these people since I was like 21, 20, you know, and I'm like, I'm 25. I was like, yeah, man, I'm not trying to be like that for the rest of my life. Right. So I was like, I need to get into something. So I was like, oh, I'm going to get into rentals. And then I started doing that. And then my girl gave me the idea. And she was like, hey, why don't you start flipping houses for like extra income, you know, instead of like working your butt off for a year to save up for one property. And I and I told at first I told her I was like you know I was like that seems risky and mm-hmm. I was like ah, I'm not trying to do all that but I started getting into it reading into it and went in I was like fuck it look yeah good. yeah all right so you went in blind like before I no I didn't before. go in blind <laughs> I look before look look we're gonna go into it here in a second too on both of y'all but I I wanted to ask y'all like y'all's experience here like like how to, how to, like y'all's childhood pretty much like like from childhood here like when did y'all get here to the to the United States. I was six. Six years old? Yeah, we were like seven. I mean, from what I remember, you know, we were like around six or seven. Then y'all had to learn, right? Y'all had to learn English? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, like, what what was y'all's, like, perspective, like, from both of y'all? Like, just, y'all can go whichever one. Man, it's just, like, different, you know, because, like, whenever you're, like, that little and stuff, and you're going to a whole different place, you don't even know what to expect. Because, like, like I said, I was, like, so little, I barely remember, but the things that I remember is just, like, not knowing how to speak a language and, like, like different people, different like yeah. ethnicities and stuff, and e- even the weather. Like back there, bro, we didn't get rains like this, you know. Like I didn't even know what like a thunderstorm was. To yeah. be honest with you, and so like it's just like I didn't know I didn't know what to do or like how to. Go he, he was a little older than me. I don't I yeah. don't remember much of that. I just remember kind of being here and then just kind of like going through the flow. Mm-hmm. You know. What about like school and stuff? Like, like once y'all got here, like whenever y'all do remember. Like ESL, yeah, like yeah. everything, like just even, just even, just even everything, like the guys, school, like your did experience. Did you guys notice anything was different? Like, I mean, starting yeah. school with the other kids. That, I mean, you know, it was a different environment. I, I, just, I like to say, like you know, everybody was like you know friendly, but everybody had like their up and downs and stuff. Like the, the way things were like ran here in like school and like mm-hmm. uh, the classes and stuff. Like a big culture shock. <clears throat> and yeah. when, when you're young too, it's it's like easier to absorb all of that and like learn a new language. Like I think we learned that language in like. Years, That's like what they say, like two, like two, like three years. years, a year. Yeah. I think yeah, I they say it's good year, to yeah. teach kids different languages by their own. Yeah. Like it was easier, babies. Yeah, literally, you learn a lot more. So I mean, yeah. it was it was easier when we were younger. To start so. later in life. Yeah, so, yeah. And what, and what was it like? Like, like y'all, like whenever I met you, I just only I only know y'all's mom. So like, what was it like? Y'all just had her like the whole time. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, her and my aunt. That's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, they're like our parents. Like when I talk about my parents, I talk about my mom, and my aunt. Yeah, they're yeah, basically the ones who raised us. Yeah, it's pretty much it. Just like us, like here, and then. There were nobody really. At least you so guys had each other though. That that yeah. probably made it a lot better. Yeah, y'all, y'all don't have anybody else than just this. Is just straight up them. Just your aunt. And your we, mom. we had an uncle that came in. Later I mean, as far on. as like close relatives, yeah, it's mainly just yeah. them. To be yeah. honest with you, Man, that's, that's crazy. We, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. pretty mm-hmm. much y'all doing. Us. You know, really good. Hey, it's funny. It or not. Yeah, it's funny. Now look, our moms became friends because we became <laughs> friends like that. Like, <laughs> I, I was in fourth grade, and my mom's still friends with her till this day. Are they related but, to the? But the because lady of that, I to, to go phone? spend the night over there. That's why I told you, like, I, like uh, I don't ever, yeah, like, I never got to go yeah, over yeah. like anybody's house. Like, they were probably one of the only people that got to go over to their to house. The lady in Peru that reads the. No, no, no. No, no this, this, she's, she's. I told you, she was the one that okay. we seen whenever we were working out. Yeah, I met her but, before. No, like, uh, I don't know, like, well, so what was it like then? Then not like only having your mom, like. Like I don't know, do you think that played a part on your life then? Like anything like that? Like not yeah. having like a like a male figure I think around? It, it helped like discipline us into like making our own like decisions as we got older and stuff. So yeah. like, basically, it was really good because we weren't spoiled. We actually had to like earn whatever yeah. we got yeah. ourselves. You know, like either like we do chores or like get a job early yeah. age. You know, while we're going to school at the same time. So yeah. I mean, it kind of helped us yeah. grow as far yeah. as like discipline. We we don't really have that fallback. You know, like some kids get. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like they can go back home. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, you can always go back home, you know, like, but like, like, let's say you don't make your car payment, you don't make your, your rent, you know, mm-hmm. like my, my parents, like, didn't have that money to like give us. So we were like, well, we either make it or you don't kind of like, yeah, you're yeah. asked yeah. out. Like, I mean, he would always like to say that I was a spoiled one. I mean, yeah. low key, well, you're the first born, right? Yeah, yeah. That's how it mm-hmm. is. Like, but I mean, I kind of was, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I was. <laughs> I'm the, I'm bro's, bro's the yeah. favorite. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I really was though, but because I, I was the first boy like out of me and my sister, so. Oh okay okay yeah but. No, but I mean it, it was it was like I said we had to work for everything we had yeah. you know like and then once we got older we just kind of went our own different ways and stuff so like obviously he went into investing uh, I went into like the medical field. And so we just kind of doing our own thing, you know. And like, yeah. obviously, yeah. like I like to invest my money in like stocks and like crypto and stuff like that. He likes to invest in stuff in like properties and like. The way it's not just stuff. sitting there, like, look, yeah. What can I do? Look, with this like, money? I, like both, of, neither one of y'all have have kids, right? Right. But do you think that played a part in it? You're like y'all are more responsible now, like like who you have kids with this stuff and like. Oh yeah, oh, yeah dude. I feel like if I would have a kid right now, I mean, like it would be hard and tight, you know. what I mean, but yeah, at yeah. the same time, you know, it, would, it can also discipline you at the same mm -hmm. time. What, you know? what did we talk about? Like what? I said, that, I, I feel like that would have. My, like a little piece of maturity, I think, like maybe y'all could relate to, you know, being 32, uh, yeah. you know, makes you grow up faster. But that, I know I want to be a good dad, I want to have yeah. a family, so I don't want to bring the, a kid into, you know, a broken home. Yeah, right? I mean, it can definitely mature you. I mean, it can, it can like yeah. motivate you and like to actually like reaching your goals and stuff, you know. I mean, it, it'll be tied. But tough. then you want to get your life right to be the father that y'all yeah. needed or, you know, that yeah. I needed, whatever. So, yeah, the father figure, yeah. For yeah, sure. so until you're ready, you know, you want to get your money right. And, oh, yeah. And I mean, like I said, you, you're never gonna be, like be fully satisfied for what you do because you always want to like yeah. climb higher. You know what I mean? So I mean, yeah. as long as you have like a good figure to your children, that's like really all. That for matters. sure, for sure. So I mean, yeah, no, nah, I'm, I'm the same way too. Like I look up, I look up to my mom for a lot because, like I said, my dad went to prison, so my mom did a lot by herself and took care of me. So should I respect my mom a lot it was more just now? Your mom, right? Or? Yeah. Well, I had my dad, but my dad went to prison probably whenever I was in about fourth or fifth grade. So he didn't get out until I was already 17, 18. So I was already pretty much grown. I already had a kid and everything by then. But that's why I feel like me not having a dad is like, it shaped my life, but like in a like in a bad way. I wouldn't say like just terrible. Like I had to learn a lot of shit on my own. That's what I say. Yeah. Like I learned everything on my own. Right. And shit, I bumped my head a lot. But yeah. that's why I respect my mom a lot now. Like now that I'm grown and I have kids, I'm like, dang, like she did it on her own. Yeah, like that shit must have been hard. Yeah. Like yeah. I, you bitch whenever you're that's a kid. Yeah. Woman, you know, you <laughs> that's why, like, I yeah, respect yeah. her now. Yeah, and you, you don't realize. Boys. It. Nah, uh -huh. that's and how like, I feel about my kids. Like they don't realize it. Like they anything. tell you too. They're yeah. Like, yeah, they're like, you don't yeah. understand the sacrifice. Mm -hmm. and, you're, and you don't, you know. But like, I feel like the older you get. You know, you start to see because you start to work, you start to pay, and then you imagine like, dang, what if I had like two kids to right. take care of on my own? Like yeah. how much more bills, how much more hard food. For you as it, mm -hmm. is and it is, you know. So it's like, yeah. and you start to see the struggle they went through. It makes you want to work harder because there's no excuse. Yep. You're yeah, you're single, that'll, no kids. That'll always be in the back of your mind yeah. when you start fucking up. Like, yeah. what am I doing this for? Like you were right. talking about the bar. Yeah. Same people complaining about the same stuff every weekend, and it's right. like, yeah, and you, you know, probably just thinking in your head too you when you hear them complaining you about shit. <laughs> 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 you're like, you're like, shit, it could be worse. That's that's the way I feel about everything. I'm like, man, it could be worse. It's like everything could be worse. Yeah. So. That negativity rubs off like you around those type of people long enough. Yeah, yeah. it does. Like, what do you so say? You be clear. Like, what do you say? Like, kept kept y'all uh, positive like that. Like, like even not like having everything. Like, say you didn't have everything whenever you were a kid, and like maybe you see other kids having stuff like that. Y'all aren't having like what? I th I think we just knew she was like doing her best. You know what I mean? Yeah. We we saw it. You know, I mean, we yeah. saw her going and to work. like other people like having like what we didn't have. I mean, it's just like it is what it is. You know, I'm like satisfied for whatever, whatever I have. Yeah. And like now that we're older. I mean, obviously, you're going to see people that are, like, have better stuff than you still, you yeah. know. But, like, a lot of the times here in this generation, people always like to be competitive. Uh -huh. So, like, if oh, you definitely. see somebody that has more than you and they're doing better, they get, like, jealous and still and, like, want to compete mm -hmm. with them. I, yeah. I always think, like, instead of competing with them, why don't you just learn from them yeah. so you can right. get to where they are, you know, and you can become better. Man, that's a, that's another thing that I was talking about is, like, uh, Jewish people, like, how they build their communities and stuff. Yeah. Like, say there's, like, one or two, and then they move their family, and then it's, mm -hmm. like, three or four, and then they start owning the businesses there, and then they're spending money with each other, and then they're, they're wealthy. They all become wealthy. And I was like, a lot of people don't do that, though, because they just want to be, like, the top dog. Everybody right. wants to be the yeah, boss. Right. See, that's just... And that's why I feel like it's ass backwards about well, people. Well, that's why that's it's hard that. to even make a team, like, say, like, how many of those did this? Like, it's hard to even get people, like, they claim to be like-minded, but mm -hmm. then... Mm -hmm. They feel like they're not getting their cut, or their share, or whatever. You just never know a person's envy. Yeah, you really don't. I mean, like yeah. I said, you know, you gotta learn from like yeah. whoever is doing better. You know, so like yeah. whether it's yeah. like a job or like a car or whatever yeah. it is. You know, there it's is not, always a learning. Yeah, it's n nothing is always a competition. It should never be a competition. Yeah, you know, it's just I guess in some people's minds yeah. it is. And yeah, it's just like jealousy and stuff. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> no, but like the. Uh, like say like y'all y'all came here and had y'all's own struggle like what how do y'all feel about like the the border crisis and stuff and like people like what they say about it now like 
Like, like, what do you think would be your like your solution? Like, since you've been through it, like, like, and I don't know, you just like are both actually sides. like a living like it's would like you, a living testament of you like, yeah, like both sides. Like, y'all came from too. Like, do what? Like the where you, where you guys came from too? Like your story. So like, I feel like that whole border thing. I feel like uh, I have two sides of it because <clears throat> I was I was raised here, you know, mm-hmm. but I'm also from the other side. So it's kind of hard to be like, oh yeah, let everybody in. You know, but it's kind of mm-hmm. hard to say like, oh, like don't let anybody in because I wouldn't that's be here if it right. wasn't for that. You know? Yeah, yeah. See, that's what I was saying like about my mom. Like, uh, mm-hmm. I would have never been born. Like, I wouldn't even exist right. if yeah. if she wouldn't have got here. And so I'm like, shit, she did it illegally. <laughs> so I'm just like, well, shit. I can't say because of, like hey, we're not terrible people either. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. not everybody. Want, like, yeah, a like life in the work hard. It's not fair. Mm-hmm. But I feel like if they like make the the process easy for like people that do because. I feel like like immigrants do jobs that people really don't want to do like and they make they they make cheaper labor for people everything like people are still they're going to be a part of the economy you know what I mean like they're not just here fucking freeloading yeah. like how people yeah. say and like they're not just they terrible think it's people all just criminals and stuff and it's yeah. not people come from everywhere you know Europe Facts. China yeah. and stuff like Middle East and I, shit I, I think Everybody their argument a fair chance. Uh, I, I think their the argument terrorist is that, thing, like that's that's what I think yeah, I, I feel like they they get mad that people come in here and work for cheaper. So then, like the yeah. people that are actually like from this country, they get paid um, like more, like or something. Or something. Yeah, no, like, they, they're they're getting paid less because there's people willing to do it cheaper. You know, mm-hmm. so they're like, well, we're not gonna hire you because they're gonna do it cheaper. So I understand that argument, you know, but I don't know. I feel like uh, I feel like the, it's the, they're, they're, yeah, it's kind of tough. But the requirements that like they're bringing people in and have like certain requirements to like to stay here, I feel like. That should be put in place, like yeah. pretty good, you know. Like, make yeah. sure you're not like you know, criminal, obviously. Like, yeah, like really being a productive member of society. Right. And like, the, like we're in DACA, so like if you ever yeah, heard of yeah, DACA, yeah, 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 right. yeah. So like we're dreamers, so like basically we have to renew every two years, and like any any type of like let's say like you get arrested, you get a ticket, mm-hmm. um, like any kind of bad behavior like that gets goes against you, and they they get to decide whether you like get to like uh, stay or leave, right? Yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah, see, I've had friends that just happened to like like a lot of classmates and stuff, and it's just crazy, like to me, like right. how little it could be, like something small, like like uh, like say, uh, you just lie to a cop about your name, yeah. like that's that's what happened to my friend, and he got sent back, and it, yeah, bro, it's like he crazy. Was, he wasn't he wasn't that. Bad. Yeah, you know, and that's why my, like my mom too, it's like crazy. I paid to get her citizenship too because she didn't have it for the longest, and so I was like, damn, like she could do anything, you know what I mean, like drinking and driving, like like. Anybody could do it, so I'm like, well, imagine if she does that. My mom's never lived in just Mexico to be like here that. for so long and yeah. know this is your way of life and just be sent somewhere else, like especially crazy. for kids. It's kind of like you're on yeah. a like for you guys, thread. Like, mm-hmm. That's what, like, that's what I feel like. It's like sad because it's like it's on a thread. Like you're like, like it's a short like, leash that you can't yeah. fuck up. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. I mean, but it's, you, it's I mean, not y'all's fault either. You know? Yeah. I mean, you don't really fuck up unless you're, you because know, obviously you're already mature enough to know what is right and wrong. You know? Right. So, like, I don't know. We, 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 we were one small mistake shouldn't you know. Debate whether you guys got sent back, especially dude, you know, I, that, y'all investing into the economy. I feel like uh, y'all grew up here. We yeah. got lucky because I feel like I've I've messed up so many times. Oh yeah, <laughs> you know. <and> like, <laughs> but, I mean, this is, you, you guys grew up here, so it's 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 just crazy like that they can. You yeah, know, it is one it little is. small thing that any like we me and him get a DUI. Yeah, we're good, but you guys grew up yeah. here. Yeah, you know it's, like, I mean? it's, so like it's like it's like you're you're like this is America. It's like everybody like this here. Like so this is where you guys your your friends are and shit. You know, like so it's like. And that's know, basically that's what happened to my friend. Like they, he didn't know anybody. Like he's over there right now, and it's that'd just be like, another culture shock again. Like what that'd the be fuck? crazy. Yeah, because yeah, it's like this. All you know, like you said, yeah, it's just crazy. Like, but it's not fair to guys like you, you know, or just people that are coming here for a better life or to work. You know, Look, like what's what's your take on it? Like like the word thing. Like uh, like how to get someone like a, a solution. Like it don't have to be a fucking for sure solution. But like what do you, what do you think? I mean, I think you know. Like honestly, I'm not like too much like invested in that so honestly i say like if you can get in here you know just get in here and work and that's it you know it's just like but obviously like, a lot of the times you know people are coming here for the wrong reasons you know to like sneak in like drugs and shit like that so like i understand why they're trying to reinforce it but at the same time you know a lot of people are here just to for a better opportunity you know just mm-hmm. to work and like he said you know a lot of the times like people that are here are getting let go because there's hiring other people that can do the job for less, which makes right. a lot of sense. You know, it's a good argument. It really yeah. is. Nah, and it's cool that you guys can see both sides. Yeah, of exactly. It. Yeah. 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 Nah, but you, you know what my argument is to that is okay. Like in the, I think it was like in the seventies with with the the car manufacturers in Detroit. That's why none of them are like really like that anymore. They started doing the the <coughs> unions. The unions started coming in and started raising the wages for the workers. Oh, okay, okay, so then they started paying the workers so much money. Excuse uh, me, like me. people like Toyota. 
they like they they started making way better quality, so mm-hmm. they had to go down on the, their quality to pay their workers more money. So it's 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 got to be a balance, you yeah. know what I mean? So there's always gonna be a certain wage that people have to make, like yeah. to 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 it's make it work. Like the money for the employers or like the company's value is yep. what they kind of have to fight for. Yeah. So if that was the case, then shit, all these fucking companies would crash. You know what I mean? They because American workers want way too much. Like they everyone would unionize. <laughs> yeah. Like it just yeah. it just wouldn't work. So that that's just my argument to that. I mean, so, it makes yeah. sense. I mean, yeah, you, know, you but, have to compensate yeah. for something, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So, to me, I'm just like, let it, like, you know what I mean? Like, they're like, there's a lot of good people. Like I said, like, you, you they should be able to have the best judgment, and in, in you know what I mean? It's like the United States; they should be able to streamline it, like, make it way faster, and yeah, put yeah. resources into that. And then instead of the other shit, you know what I mean? Like that that we get into definitely make it faster because like we've been in Dallas for like almost ten years now. Like, yeah. there, there should be some kind of like. Gateway. So how long does that last? Like every two years. Yeah, for the rest like of your lives. Pretty like, much. Yeah, yeah, I guess so, yeah. Yeah, I mean... Until yeah. they, like, take it out or something like that. Yeah, yeah. see, that's fucked up, too. Like, they can <laughs> yeah, just I do mean, with it. I mean, you're a nurse. Yeah. You're investing in properties. You both went to school here. What? Elementary, junior high, high mm-hmm. school. Like, yeah, this is crazy, crazy to me. Like, College, this is... Y'all, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, like... Y- y'all like <laughs> us. You know, you just born somewhere else. So it's like, you're, yeah. y'all are a part of the American society, yeah. the economy and everything I mean, a lot that of people supposed to stand for. So, I mean, I don't think it's going to like go anywhere. It, it, yeah, it won't be like, easy to just take it away. Yeah, no, definitely. Because like, I feel like that is people's arguments. Like, come over here the right way. You know, and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, so, it is. Well, that's technically, the, we did. I and mean, a lot of people do, you know. But yeah, but, but at the end of the day. We overstayed. We overstayed. <laughs> hey, either way, y'all are like the epitome of what people say, like that they want people to do when they move to this country. You know, so it's like I don't know. Yeah, but it's I mean, not fair. Like, look, so so now look, okay, so like every like y'all are grown now. So y'all graduated high school. What did what did both of y'all do? Like, yeah, because y'all y'all are just two completely separate like paths. Like, yeah, well, I said, don't do what he does, and he doesn't do what I. Yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. Like you said, you didn't go to like, school. Hell no. yeah. Like you tried? Did you try school at least? Yeah, did, I was, yeah, I went to school like part time for like two, three. years. I think years. he wanted to do like business or marketing I or to do some something shit. like that. Yeah. And so I, then you must have got something from it. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I guess so. But like, um, I think the, most of it was uh, I was young and immature, and I didn't know what I wanted to do. Whenever I was like 18, 19 yeah. years old, no, who the hell knows what the fuck? So, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, you know what I mean. So like, I went in there and I changed it up. Like what? Like twice? I did business and then I wanted to do nutrition. I think you wanted to do psychology or sociology. Something or some like shit. that. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. And then I changed it up and then it just I don't know, man. School just wasn't for me. And then I was like, you know, I feel like I could just work. And yeah. That's kind of. Yeah. That's me route. too. Like I took a break for a while because I don't know what to do. Because like after high school, I was just like him. You know, like I was doing sociology, criminal justice, psychology, marketing, whatever. Kind of like what am I doing? Then? Yeah, because like I was at like Vernon College first. And then I went, and then I left, and I went to Texas Tech University. I did nutrition there. I came back here, went to Midwestern State, did, like, some sports and leisure shit that I didn't even like. <laughs> and then I went back to Vernon <laughs> College, and then I just finished nursing. And then yeah. that's it. Yeah, dude, it's just Like, crazy. fuck it, I need to stay with this. Like, yeah, see yeah, where yeah. it takes me. That's At some point, you got to stick to something. Yeah, because yeah, you ended like, up liking it. And yeah, like, honestly, it was just, like, random, you know. Like, I didn't know if I was going to like yeah. it. I just took a shot at it, and I really do enjoy it. Yeah. See, think about like what if you would have did what you plan on doing at first? Like, I probably would have been miserable. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, like, and that, that's like that's a huge thing. Whenever I have kids, man, like once they turn eighteen, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I want a higher education for them, right? But uh, what I'm gonna try to guide them to do is like go to whatever field you think you're gonna go into college for, whether it's a hospital. Let's say you wanna be a lawyer. You know, you want to own a business. Like, let's say you wanna be a GM at a restaurant, right? I work at a restaurant, so it's like, okay, start working at a restaurant as a host or as a busser, get get the sense of the environment what you're into and then see if you like it. If you do, pursue it. Pursue right. a higher education on it. But like, like imagine like you're like, yeah, I want to be like a regional manager or like a, a corp- corporation in a restaurant. You know, and then mm-hmm. you go into it, you you finish with like, a, I think a hospitality degree and then you go into it and you're like, I hate this fucking thing. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, you're dealing with stuff now at a higher level that you didn't realize how much responsibility yeah. that job And, and maybe had. the environment just wasn't for you. Like, I just don't like facts. people like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or like hospital. Like, I can't do, do, I can't do blood. Yeah, you know? facts. So you it's like, blood? no, like, I can. I'm just saying. No, nah, but like earlier I was saying, like, I, that would be the hard part about yeah. it. Right. Look, now that you say that, like about the kids and stuff, look, like since y'all had to work young, are y'all, are y'all down? Like if y'all had kids to like not let them work and like take care of them and just say, hey, like get right. All the way until they're eighteen, and then like if you want to go to school, go to school, and I'll keep taking care of you. Or y'all like I mean, would y'all say? I feel like if I would have a kid right now, uh, I mean like I wouldn't want to, but if I did, you know, because shit happens, then it would be okay. Yeah, because you, you guys want your kids like to kind of 
yeah. have that cushion and security. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What, what was your question again? Like that, like that, like if you had kids, like say, like and you're you're established and everything, like you're good, you don't. Like, will I spoil them and give them everything? Not, not spoil them, them but I'm saying, like, say if they wanted to go to school, would you let them go to school and not work, pay any bills, and just be like, hey, nah, just go and I'll take care of you? they got to pay something, bro. <laughs> they got to pay something. Hey, you, 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 they you, 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 you're talking you, about whenever they're grown, though. I was talking about when they're babies. When they're babies? No, no, no. Nah. I'm talking about growing up. Like, say yeah. they're, like, 17, 16, oh, like, 17, 18, 20, better nah, be an adult already. Like, You got to give them some kind of sense of responsibility. Yeah. So you feel like they'd be too soft or something. grass or some shit, you know? No, more than that. Like, go get a real job or a part-time job at least. I'll put like a down payment on a car and then like hey you finish paying it yeah, yeah. If, Send if, you, up. if it gets repoed if, it, if you wreck it that's on you you better start walking then yeah because you know, walk when, when they don't they're gonna see how bad it sucks to work they, they yeah. gotta learn bro. see i yeah, feel like facts. like see like y'all are like the same way like i am like like it's just like tough look like yeah. i'm really not i really don't feel like sympathy for people you know what i mean like yeah. because like like i said it could be a lot worse like in you're really just bullshitting yourself if you're, you, if you're you not really doing it. You really wouldn't be helping them <coughs> as much if you're if you're doing too much for them because later down the road when you're not there, what are they gonna do? It's true. They won't they won't know what to do with that. Like, like, yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm all for like providing for my family, you know, like and pay all the bills and not have them to worry about it and stuff. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I do like to discipline them and just have them to like, you know, like go that's the right way. That's just sweet. And yeah, everything's yeah. gonna be handed to them. Right, right. Like, hey, I got money, not you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get to work. Ain't no Shaq said. Shaq said that shit. Yeah, Jackie can't. He said I'm rich. He's like I'm rich. He's like you're not rich. Yeah, he's like it's my money. Yeah, he's like you better. He's like you better go get a job. You want? You gotta get a bachelor's degree. You gotta get a master's degree. Yeah, like that. You already set them up pretty good anyway. Like I think I would still try to set something on the side for them, like a little college fund or. Like a Roth, maybe. I don't feel them. like kids should know that shit. That's why I, I feel like they take advantage. Them, <laughs> <laughs> oh, they know about that. Hell yeah, yeah. yeah! If I knew someone was gonna take care of me, I wouldn't don't even go them. as hard like, as like, I do. I better just uh, tough it out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'd be like, damn. Yeah, I'd be like, well, that's like, kind of <laughs> a shitty way of thinking, anyway, though. I feel like that's what happens to people, and yeah. I feel like that's what they don't feel no guilt. Yeah. yeah, they don't give a damn. Yeah. They're like, shit, I'll be like, all right. Nah, yeah, no matter what. In a couple yeah. years. Shit, you probably just exposed yeah. all the parents now that we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's that's what I feel like is the problem is like that. Like, uh, they, they give kids too much cushion. Even today, like, I feel like it's way different from whenever, like, I was a kid. Like, they're way softer on kids. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm sure even in school, they like they probably didn't give a fuck that y'all didn't know English all the way. And they're probably like, hey, come on, like, still better listen. Like, come on, like, you better get with the fucking well, program. Like, that's when we were kids. We got our ass beat. Yeah, yeah like that's nowadays, what I'm saying. Like, like parents don't. Oh, like, it's bad. Yeah, yeah, you that's know. what I'm saying. It's like way different. Like it's it's just completely different. I feel like that. I feel like they're too soft on kids, and you got to think that that's the people that are gonna be pretty much like it's leading the country whenever you're whenever you're old. You know what I mean? And you're yeah, be like, yeah. damn, this soft motherfucker. Bro, I'll like, be nice <laughs> hey, we'll take advantage of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> shit. Hey, that's uh, shit. That happens. <laughs> nah, but uh, but if it happens, like I said, like you know, that's what I'm. That's what my plan of doing is just like providing and have them like right. You know, go the right direction. I think you can do that and still raise a leader. Yeah. You know, for sure. It's about how you discipline them and raise them and the ethics you put into them. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because. And like, you guys already have kids, though, so you're already like. No, I don't. I have a lot of kids. No, that's what I was saying. I want to be I, ready, like, you know what I mean? Because I, I didn't know my biological know dad growing up. Yeah, so yeah, I no, I got, I'm about to have my sixth kid. Yeah, he, he's <laughs> moving on. Bro. Yeah, uh, he moving on up. That's yeah, crazy. Hey, I said, look, I said, <laughs> I said, hey, after hey, I said, like, I, figured, hey, I figured out I was smart. Well, see, that's <laughs> everything. Like, Looks so like you know me since I was in school. Like I was, I was always pretty smart, and so I was like, shit, I didn't know how smart I actually was. And so shit, I didn't figure out until shit. <laughs> I was, I went, like I went to school finally. <laughs> I went to school. I went to college because I, I, I didn't go to college because I was already working. Like I had a kid at sixteen, and then whenever I turned eighteen. I think 17 years old, I was ready to go to college. And I could have went straight in. I was smart enough. Like, I think I almost got perfect on the test. Mm-hmm. No, I could have went straight in. And then they were like, you got to pay like a 4000 or $10,000, something like that. And I didn't even know about loans, Pell Grants, anything right. like that. Yeah. And I was like, fuck that. I mm-hmm. said, I better stay my ass working. Yeah. And I was, working, I was working at Taco Bell. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, hell yeah. I was like, I said, I better stay my ass working. Like, shit, I can't afford that shit. But that was your first job, Taco Bell? Yeah, I stayed there fucking from like 16 to, to almost 18. And then I was like, fuck Damn. this. And then I went and worked at a factory. Well, shit, I had a couple jobs in between that, but I was like, fuck that. I don't like factory work neither, like yeah. overnight 12 hour shifts. They, so. just, they just don't teach kids all that, bro. Like in school. Right, like, like you're not going to get a fast money, or nothing. Loans. Well, I feel like nowadays, like jobs pay like fairly well. So, like, it doesn't, it, kids don't even want to go to college because they're right, making already like it's 18 right. plus Without an hour. The day. You know? Look, right. look uh, like you say, you do like uh, investment in like the properties and stuff. Like, uh, who taught y'all about money? 
Ourself. Learn ourselves. Yeah, yeah. Ourselves. YouTube. Yeah. YouTube. 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 <laughs> Brainstorm together. Like, did like, you ever collaborate? Did you ever yeah. fuck up? Yes. Like, no. Or did y'all learn on your own? We learned our yeah, own. Our so own y'all own. never talked like caught each other at night. Like, guess what I just learned. Bro? I mean, like, we like we like give our thoughts and opinions like on what we got yeah. going on in our yeah. lives and stuff. But he really, really yeah. does. Well, his own we're thing. like in different things. Yeah. So so like if he would say he liked crypto, <clears throat> and he knew all about it, even if he saw him making money off of it, would you do it or do you feel like you, you said have to no because he's your little brother? Oh, no, I would. Do it. <laughs> okay, no, you know what I mean? No, because some people have to be the opposite. Like, I'm gonna go this way. Like, I'm not taking shit from. You. No, yeah, it's like so. Like he knows. You know about, what I mean, though, right? So he knows about properties. You know, just right. an example. He, he knows about properties. And let's say I know a lot about crypto and shit. So like, I can go and advice for him like about properties and investing. He can go and advice for me for cryptos and all that kind of stuff. It's a good way. Just shit like that, you know. Yeah. But I mean, I don't really know much about like crypto, that, like as, as yeah. I should. But like, that's just an example. No, that's cool. Yeah. And shit, everybody has their specialty. <laughs> but like, man, like, uh, man, it's crazy. Hey, how do how do y'all feel like since y'all don't even, y'all don't still don't even have any family here now? Like, it's just y'all pretty much. Just, yeah, pretty uh, much. my mom, man. Yeah, and then I don't mm-hmm. even live here no more. You know, like I said, like, yeah. I already moved. That's what I'm saying. That's that's like weird. You're just like shit. You're like I got a brother. Like, like, cool. He's gone. It's hey, cool. Like, Fuck him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. Hey, no, <laughs> hey, that's how, that's Damn. how people be there. Like I had a brother. They're like he lives in Wisconsin. Oh, they tell <laughs> yeah, like they tell like a whole different story. Like yeah. they make it sound worse than what it is. <laughs> right. I, he burned I, I, off on me. I wanted to go to Florida. For real? Hell yeah. I want to go to Florida because the Texas. I wouldn't leave out of Texas. Yeah. You wouldn't. No, Texas is just so nice here for business. Like that's that's my main thing. I love business, bro. Like. I'd never leave out of because they they love big business here. So like yeah. you, you don't have to pay any taxes here. Like if you go somewhere else, you're gonna start paying the state taxes. Like here, you got to make like two million before you start paying the state any taxes. Yeah, and it's like Texas is supposed to go like their own country too. Like there's just, it's, I heard, like, it's, rumors they about talk this about it. Yeah, yeah. No, no, there's like a good economy here too. Like yeah. even like the the a lot of the medicine, everything here. Like it's shit. We're like we're like the top in a lot of it, especially agriculture. Yeah, like they're, they're, for sure they like the jobs and everything in the economy is good. You know? And the, yeah, the we, cost of living. We, that's what it is, bro. Average, so you know, bro, if you go to if you go to Florida, hey, they're good. gonna be like, hey man, they're like, you want a uh, house on the beach? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah trying to even. sell it to you. <laughs> hey, man. Not even. Oh, well, I, one of those houses you get for like one thirty over there, probably like three hundred, four hundred thousand. In a fucking shack on the beach. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> I believe it. Shit. Uh, but if I like, want to go there, I'm, I'm already going to be making this much, you know? So, like, that's the goal. Yeah. yeah no, so, you already sure. got it mapped out, like... It, Eventually, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I haven't really put too much thought into it, you know? I'm, I'm focused on the idea. present, you know? Yeah, yeah. Can't focus too much on the... Right, future. you're not there yet, but yeah. you're doing good for right now. Yeah, for right now. Yeah. Satisfied. But DFW, man, this is, like, a lot of jobs there, too. Definitely. So. Yeah, yeah, especially, especially coming from here. Even, like, suburbs that that's are not, like, Plano, Louisville, and all that, like, those places are still growing. Oh, yeah. Like, I live in the suburbs, so, like, yeah. everything's, oh, yeah. like... 30 minutes away. You said, I, oh. Yeah, <laughs> no, I was like, yeah. No, no, there, you know, no, because if you live in Fort Worth, the city. Because uh, we were Dallas. talking about Houghton City and stuff, and I remember, like, going down, like, those places even are growing, like, oh, the little dude. small towns outside. Dude, like, the suburbs that I live in, like, like the whole, like, Main Street itself has, like, a shit ton of restaurants and, like, businesses. And stuff. More than probably yeah. the small towns up here. See, yeah, oh, yeah bro, like, but here, I, I want to hear, I want to hear to grow. Like, I was... Here we go. That's why I feel like in the business. That's doesn't make sense. And, and see, like, that's, that's my thing, like, about the, the, like the immigration thing, that's another thing. Like I said, like you wouldn't be here and I wouldn't be here either way. And like I'm a businessman, you know what I mean? Like I love I love business. And so like I, I'm I'm like with my ideas, like I, I'm still able to make jobs and whatever and other businesses, like same thing you're investing in the community, buying houses. <laughs> And there's a lot of people from California and stuff like coming and buying up all the houses here. Like it's, it's oh, just, yeah. <laughs> that's a, that's a fact. And it's yeah. crazy. I mean, like look at what they pay over there. Yeah, and they'll pay stupid because yeah. they're probably used to the prices there. All that neighborhoods in Oakland. And this is like nothing. To yeah, they see like a thirty a thirty thousand dollar house, fifty thousand dollar house. They're like, oh hell yeah, they're like, I'll buy that in a <laughs> heartbeat. Really though, they will. They really or even will. something you know. for a hundred because yeah. they say their and houses are like yard here. Oh yeah, a yard. Yeah. Yeah, like they don't got that shit. Like yeah, I've been to New York, bro. That it's just all like their yard is. High rise buildings. It's like two, stuff. two or three of these tables in New, in New York. Hell yeah! Oh, shit. Well, like in the and city. not even, not even New York City, just Buffalo. That's, oh, that's where like I went that to. Too? Yeah, bro. Damn. All the houses are built high up, and the yards are small. Yeah, really yeah. That's yeah. why I wouldn't leave Texas either. I mean, New York is just too much for me. You know, just, yeah. I, it's nice though. It's is is pretty, but it is. But I just just I don't to know. visit. Yeah. Just to visit. Is yeah, I've been there like one time, but that's it. You know, just yeah. And then, like, everything there is just, like, so much fucking bigger, so, like... Yeah, and you feel like... It seems like if you want to move to Florida, and you like it here. Like, you want somewhere warm anyway. You're not oh, really yeah. trying to deal with... I mean, the, I, I deal weather. with the cold. I like the cold, but, I mean, like, yeah. the beach is what kind of gets me, you know? Facts. You know what I mean? So, like, you you say, like, your mom speaks Spanish, but you don't speak Spanish
But I just I just don't know. Well, I think because she stayed with my grandma. Like my grandma never learned English. So I don't know why I, I always thought you spoke Spanish for some reason. Didn't man, you speak if Spanish I before? if I, I if so. I really had to, I say I could. Hey, like yeah. if I hey, if I really really had to. <laughs> hey, the, the only time I do it, hey, I do it at the bar when I'm drunk already. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> hey, there's someone that don't know English. He's not trying I, to show me songs. And what he's and saying, he and I'm not. Her. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I'm not he gonna leave him hanging. You know what I mean? Because that's. I feel like they're like like an outcast because they can't talk to anybody. You know what I mean? Yeah. Everybody's speaking English, so I said I ain't gonna leave them hanging. Even if yeah, it sounds yeah. fucked up, you know what I'm saying? I'll still talk to them, <laughs> and all that's night cool and all night long. You know what I mean? Because like yeah. to me, like I said, like that's still like my people. Like no, nah, but I, I mean, if you know a little bit, they just appreciate like you just even talking to them. Yeah, like, yeah. They're in the world where they don't. Yeah, where people are like, they're like, uh, like learn the language. They're like you're in America. Yeah, so, like, you know, <laughs> bit, it's a lot about tone, and like it's just like music and food. Like there's a way. Like I don't know. You don't got to know the language to even really speak to people sometimes because like though it's just finding the understanding like they can understand moods and stuff like that and uh, yeah that's true I mean the body languages and stuff yeah like just a lot of people like like I don't know I just feel bad for people that can't speak English and then they don't know who to ask for help or like what's going on and no one will stop to even try to understand them or yeah but like nowadays you got Google Translate so everybody true just hell yeah they there. got the I was like hey, like what you yeah. said there's no excuse yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah they're, 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 <laughs> They got Babel. Hey, we were supposed to go to Babel. Mexico. I downloaded Babel. <laughs> Y'all know what it is, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We so, it. so we were gonna. Yeah, I got it, bro. So we were gonna go down to Mexico. He ruined the plans. But uh, I know. <laughs> but so I was like, man, I better learn because I know like a little bit and I can understand it, but not like good enough like to go down there like. That's gonna be faster paced, you know. Like they're not gonna even know Spanglish. Like, right. I mean, if you go yeah. to like Mexico, you like go to the bars and like order a drink and just say beer. Uh, what, what, where where are we going? Where are you from, buddy? Hey, where's your dad from? Where you and Big O going? Durango. Durango. Nah, say what, what, what city? I say what city? What's the other one? Where are we going? Mesa Mesa. Oh, Mesa. We're yeah. going to Mazatlan. We're supposed to go to the I beach. Like, I feel like they speak English over there too, though. They were all tripping. Probably more now. Nah, like, everyone's like, tripping. That was another thing like, too. Real big, worldwide. Yeah, yeah. Central Seas and Britain and like. Is East it like a tourist worldwide. area, or were y'all going like? I'm not Mazatlan sure. Would have been, we would have had to go. We would have had to go take a long ass drive from Durango to Mazatlan, and they were like, "Man, you could get stopped by the police, the cartels, or anything." Oh, shit. They're like, "You're gonna have white guy with you." They're like, "You don't Spanish." They're making a big deal out of. I know. <laughs> I'm like, I'm fine, I'm fine here. Hey, he would have started talking shit like they're American police. <laughs> yeah. like, Get the I'm fuck like, out. I'm like, I'll get these bitches off me. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, fuck you, Miklo. Nah. Nah. No, nah. they're, they're assholes here. That's, that's nah, just man. what I heard. Y'all Make it away with Y'all rescheduling to go back? Or? Shit, I, I hey, want to go. Hey, right Big Hunk hey, says I can come back. Down back. Down like, finally getting the implant and just going there. Oh, uh, okay. I feel like everybody goes to Mexico just for like you know procedures and stuff. Yeah, but, but I want to go. Everybody, right all over. the girls get their ass done. Yeah. But I want to be like in a regular teeth. city though. I don't want to go like to Cancun. I want to be like around like a normal city. The like Russians on Cancun. Yeah. We can go there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not even Russia, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> now he's been saying that though, like. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, no, there's a, there's a, uh, there's a friend he calls him uh, Poland. Oh yeah, he's like Salvadorian. Yeah, he's Salvadorian. Yeah. He's like Poland. I might be like a little Polish or whatever. I really might be, but he'd be like Poland. He's Puerto Rican and uh, Salvadorian. Yeah, but I look, he thought like you were mixed with like Mexican or something. Nah, uh, when I went to Berkeley, he's a tall Indian. No, when, said, I, when I moved down there, people did like. I don't, she, I don't know. Maybe just <laughs> all my friends are Mexican. Maybe that's why people. Well, that's why I thought you were like half Mexican. Yeah. Probably the haircut. Hey, yeah, it's the haircut. Hey, we went to San Antonio to the sneaker con, and all the kids had know. taper faces. Even the, the, the white color. kids, oh, it was yeah. fucking hilarious. I said, but you know, because like, you got to think, <laughs> San Antonio is more Hispanic, so like the white kids, it's the like my people here. Mix, like, yeah. <laughs> really, just whatever you grow up around, I feel like. So what? What are you? Are you just from here? I, for the West Appalachians. Yeah, no, I grew up uh, near Pittsburgh, <laughs> Pittsburgh, and then I lived in uh, Eastern Ohio before I moved here. And oh, then okay. I've been here half my life, so I'm 32. So I've lived here two years longer than I lived up there. Oh, so. okay, damn. But I don't, I don't have roots in Texas. <clears throat> I got you. So not that it's long home now, though. Two years. What's so up? you say just two years here? Like no, so, uh, like two years longer here than I did. I moved here when I was going on 16. Oh, okay. 32 now, so like half and half. <clears throat> yeah. So it's home. Yeah. It's home. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. because it, it it is a lot different where I'm from. Like even like. You would have to tell people how to act a different way. I don't know, because it's just, everywhere you go is just a different, is. you know, environment. It really is. And wherever what we you go say to, like, is I different. Feel like, like, now here, like, in Texas, a lot of, like, uh, Hispanic people are, like, mainly, like, Mexicans, you know, like, Puerto mm -hmm. Ricans and stuff. So, I mean, like, 
I mean, I see a lot of Peruvians too, but like a lot of the times, you know, people think we're Mexicans. I'm like, okay, well, yeah, it's normal. You well, know? you were talking about like thinking I was mixed. I have like a lot of friends. Y'all go, like, what do you mean, you people? No, but I have a lot of friends that like look at him, like they talk shit about us, like we're both white boys. Like, no, they say pe- they say people from like El Salvador, like Central America. But there's a lot of uh, Mexicans. So one of my best friends, he's from Dorado, Puerto Rico. And he said he had, like, one of his best friends was, like, blonde hair, blue eye, but there's, like, African-American-looking people in Puerto Rico or Cuba or even Colombia, you know what yeah. I mean? And people don't realize, like, they're just, like, the states almost, like, when it comes to colonization, but... In Miami. You go to Miami? You been to Miami? Nah, we like to well, go, we though. We went to Miami, something. bro. Like, we literally go, like, the store or restaurant, we just, like, start asking for, like, directions and stuff, and they'd be like, okay. Yeah, like, they're, 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 they're like, like going you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so it's just like a whole yeah. other world. Yeah. Everybody, everybody there's literally Hispanic, hey. Cuban, yeah. or whatever. I mean, it kind of really depends where you're at, too. Yeah. But like mo- most places, I went to a Walmart one time. I was trying to look for like a uh, styrofoam, like uh, what do you call it, where you put your beer in? Cooler? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, like, you know yeah, what? Yeah, I was like. Oh, for the beach? No, I forgot yeah. my mom was saying that. My mom was saying that about y'all's mom that she said something else. She's like like a dog. She's like, don't ever say that. She's like, to Peru. <laughs> She's like. She was like, "That's bad to do." Oh, like saying like, slang, yeah, like, yeah, like, <laughs> like, yeah, like saying like certain words. She was like, "It's just like it's like words." Then like, like disrespecting them. Oh, and shit. Well, like, I got you. Yeah, 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 like, like in federal? Spanish though. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. She yeah. said like to a Peru. She was like, "That's like disrespectful." Oh, like, like, certain, certain things. Yeah, 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 yeah certain yeah. words. Okay. Like your ancestors or something probably recall like certain names by like other countries, and it always just stuck. Yeah. Like, like a, Mexican perros like means cool, right? Tell no, it's like a dog. Yes, yeah. Yes, yeah. Not even that. So it should, I don't even think it's that bad. No, really. No, <laughs> no, like, no, like, like, but, but like for them, there might yeah. be a reason yeah, like, why. Like Mexican, like whenever you say better, like, you know, that's badass. Right, that's what, yeah, that's what, mean, what my mom said about. Yeah. That's a slang word, yeah. My mom said yeah, about yeah. way. Right? Yeah. 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 So like, hey. like, she like said a lot of people like, don't call say me that. They, like, don't, they don't play. Yeah. Like there'd be Mexicans like, that don't like that. For us, I think like better means like what? Like bitch? Yeah, that's that's what exactly she was saying. That Yeah, that's what she was saying too, like about the guy. She said they don't play that. She said about being called way, like <laughs> they'd be like, yeah, like using the slang and shit. They're like, hell no, like, yeah, yeah. like way, like like Where? whenever just shit. Hey, oh, in Mexico? No, I'm so, I don't know who gets disrespected, but sometimes Mexicans get disrespected by the word way. Really? Uh, yeah, it depends how you use it. Oh. Is, is it like a newer word history? though? Like, like nah, hell no. Nah. No, because you know how certain slang what came part from of Mexico? here, like, yeah. and then people, people took it back yeah. to their countries, and like people don't like the. Way kids dress here. And they stuff. said like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, what happened? Like, like, uh, like the fucking. Hey, like oh you. That's it. Like the college. It's like cattle, but it has its balls chopped off. So that's why it's called a way. That sounds fake. Can you look that up? Hey, no, for real. That's called the way. He's like a way. Because you don't got no balls. You don't got no balls except your girl's telling you what to do. You know, dumbass. Oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah he said it go that, both ways. So some people take it like that, like, nah, but like, lot, what the hell did you just call me? A lot of homeboys <laughs> will call each other that, and then they'll go talking to someone else, and they're like, what the fuck? You, you just, just call me some motherfucker. Then some people start know, buying that whey protein, we, we then. <laughs> yeah. But they would, like, really be pissed. At, yeah. yeah. That's funny as hell. Look, so I got a question, right? It says, how do you feel about men's mental health in today's day and age? Like, do people care about men? I, th- I think it's gotten a lot better than like it was like back in the day like 1980s 1970s where like I feel like if you express yourself emotionally you're gay you know what I mean <laughs> yeah. no, I swear like, or like, or like sensitive like, yeah feminine yeah. Like, yeah sensitive you know or like that's a feminine not, trait yeah now it's like, not like that like I feel like more more men start to speak up about how they feel yeah you know and like they're a little bit more emotional and it's more accepting you know nowadays I feel like it's not as bad but it's still I feel like there's still like some discrimination against men kind of like like there is for women, you yeah. know what I mean? I feel like there's always going to be like that back and forth between like being like sensitive and emotional for men than it is for females, you know. So I, I do think so. Men overdo it. <laughs> yeah, like, I think you know, some they guys take advantage it. of it. So like then other men don't come out and talk about it because they're like, this. The guys that mess it up on social media that that cry yeah. every day. <laughs> <laughs> People that hang themselves stuff like bipolar or like yeah. this, and you never been diagnosed with that, like. There's really people out there suffering with that. Yeah. Like, you know, type and like of for thing. men too, they don't like to express that because it just like makes them seem weak it's, and stuff. Yeah, so yeah. I feel like that's a, I feel like that's a, like, a, like a like a Hispanic thing. Like in, any anybody that's like a like they're like too macho. That's what it yeah, is. They're yeah, like yeah, fucked on. They're like you better yeah. not cry. They're like yeah, yeah, they're yeah, like come on, whip them and shit. Yeah, they're like come on. They're like you can't let no tear down. That's what like to me. Like a lot of that's why I said like hey, if someone catches me crying, I might cry sometimes. But I'll be like, if someone does it, I said then. 
I said, I'll whoop their ass, too. I said, they say something about me crying. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I'll show you how tough I am. Yeah. I know. <laughs> but, like, kids, like, like, back in the day, like, you know, fucking fall off the bicycle and stuff. Like, their dad is like, oh, no, just walk it off. You know, you'll learn. Right. So, like... Just shit Pouring like that. peroxide on that shit, burning it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or like fucking salt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lemon juice? No. It's, it's, I feel like it's eased up a bit. Yeah. Know? These kids won't even play outside. Like, they'll play tag on a game before they go yeah, chase yeah, each other outside. Oh, yeah. Because the video game. Years old with the kids. That's what we were just talking about. Like, they're putting us in nursing homes. Media. Just so y'all know. Yeah. We're dead. Yeah, that's what I think. Everybody. Like, that. Like, uh, like, the way the kids are on phones and stuff now, like, it's like they, they don't play. Or the technology. Yeah, yeah, like they watch other kids play outside. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. They watch. Yeah, they watch other people. Other play. kids open up toys. <laughs> Hell yeah! yeah they want to be. Then they're like, I can make money by doing this, so they don't want to do nothing else. They're like, yeah. they're like, I'm gonna be a YouTuber. <laughs> yeah, it's, and it's like you gotta be a class clown or something first. Like they watch people commentating on like video games and stuff. Uh, yeah, Bro, it's yeah. fucking ugly. No, like, my kids think it's cool that I even do this. Though, like even just recording videos, they're like, they're like, wow. Like they say all stuff, they're like, they're like, man, they're like, you're on YouTube, and then they yeah. see the shorts. It's funny they'll be at the hey, house playing on the TV. Antonio done told my ass, so I go to the uh, Aislinn's birthday, and he's like, my dad says you don't have no YouTube followers, like you know, this like it's something like yeah, off yeah. the channel, and then he's like, you and my dad suck or some shit. <laughs> like your YouTube sucks, just some dumb stuff. Like it's just funny, but they really pay attention to it. That's why. I, I mean, you can get you can learn a lot from YouTube and stuff too. Like Definitely. that's why like kids are like nowadays like always like on like. Their phones and stuff, trying to learn yeah. new things on like the internet. So I'm guessing that's why they're always like wanting to like stick to social media instead of going. Well, and outside. that's what they were given, like the iPads, like like why, yeah. like say the mom had to cook dinner. You know, you nowadays you can just give the kid your phone and put the movie on it, and like you know, I don't oh, know. Back yeah. in the day, you actually had to carry your kid around the house and yeah, so like hope they didn't burn the house down or whatever. Use the mom's phone just to play like yeah. videos and stuff. What? <laughs> nah, I, but you know, like kids, like back then, your parents had to pay attention, and like you were talking about scraping your knees and falling off the bike. Yeah, you got fucked up for doing that <laughs> shit. Like kids poking the plugs, like burning themselves, like. But they learned, you know yeah. what I mean? These kids ain't gonna know shit. Just I think we did that shit before. I think we almost like. Like, burnt the house. Man, that happens, like, man. <laughs> Hell yeah, because you're bored and shit. Especially yeah. boys. Now that I got kids, I was like, man, girls are way. Is it, girls are easier? Yeah, I think girls are easier uh, because they just care that. about, like... Uh, that, that It's scary, though. They just care about having nice shit, really. They're like, easier than what? They're easier than boys. Boys are too rough, like, and they want to fuck what shit up. What do you up. think? Because uh, I feel like girls I think it's act debatable. like dudes. I think it might be debatable. Because yeah, I mean, girls can be mean, mean, bro. bro. Think about, I mean, my step kids, you know, the daughter's 18, and then the boys are, like... Uh, oh, no, I'm not talking about grown. I'm talking about kids. I'm talking about... Because girls can be, like, mean, too, like... And then you got to... Like, the mood swings. And how do you discipline them back? Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's hard, bro. You ask majority of people, probably about eighty nine percent of people will say a girl is young is harder to raise. Than yeah, because even women you don't have to do much. You know, you it's like you throw them out there. All right, no, kind of, yeah. You know, <laughs> they do kind of find their way, don't they? Girls, it's like they want attention. No, it's like whenever you want to like, have nice things. That's why I don't like boys oh, because nice they fuck my shit up. And they don't care. <laughs> they don't. There's like whatever they break stuff and there's like whatever. Hey, like they were sliding down the stairs with our shit. <laughs> yeah, they're like buy another one. They're like, well, hey, they said my dad said. That's whenever I was like, well, teach them old school, get the belt and shit. Shit. Nah, see, Th I always respected my mom just out to general, just not want to disappoint her. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't have kids, yeah. so I can't really say nothing. Nah, From what I've heard, I think like, I boys are easier than females. They look easier. You just get them haircuts, make sure they dress all right. Get them like, don't go play in the dirt, door, well, like, uh, the dirt and all that outside. Females are just more complicated. Yeah, like, like cause you can't. What do you do with your daughter's hair? Like, you can't just. Oh, you got to, like, braid them or something? Like, yeah, maybe. But, like, a boy, up. like, you can just take them to, like, Jesse's Barbershop or something. Fucking give them a bus cut and they're good to go. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, the girls, like, that's tough. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, man, when when would it happen to that guy? Who? Uh, that Lambo TV or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah was funny did y'all see that they're about to? They're trying to uh, ban TikTok. Yeah, yeah they so use TikTok. Yeah, I don't know if that's really true though. Cause people no, it's true. You didn't get the message on TikTok. Oh, oh okay. yeah, they, 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 sent, they sent a notification yeah. on TikTok. Oh, they? They're like, uh, contact your congressman. If, if an American like uh, like this and doesn't buy it or something like yeah. that, right? Yeah, they're gonna yeah, they give them a hundred and something days to sell it, and after that, it's banned. Oh no shit. Yeah. Man, they're not gonna let it go. Too many people are gonna go. Crazy. Well, they're about to vote. They're about to make a vote. Like, uh, cause a lot of people are making their money off of TikTok. Too. That's, how they uh, make a living. Shit, he's got some views with me on. <laughs> like, this motherfucker's a TikTok champ. Nah, I think what they do, they're smart though. Like, man, they just 
shit, they they really infiltrated the United States. They're really like in they're here inside now. Inside like, out for sure. Because now they got everybody using it. They're paying a lot of people yeah. money. There's a lot of content creators. So if they take that away from people, there there's gonna be a lot of people bitching about it. Like, yeah. No people one's no one's just gonna do it easily. I feel like a new app is gonna arise though. <laughs> no, I feel like what's gonna happen is a monopoly, like uh, Facebook, YouTube. <laughs> All of them are gonna because they they only got shorts and reels and stuff to mm-hmm. compete with TikTok, right. and so now they'll have the whole market by themselves, and they're just they're TikTok is kicked it. out. You know yeah. what I'm saying by the government, the and it's yeah. a, it's a conspiracy. Who do you think's gonna take it? I think I think uh, Meta would because they got Instagram Facebook and Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But they'll keep the same platform probably. If TikTok is gone, they're gonna have to go back to Vines. <laughs> Vines, bro. <laughs> For really? Remember that. That's how. It, that's how it all started to begin with. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's how I had to go back. What was that one? The Chive or something? My uh, old roommate used to the Chive. Like there was like vines and shit on there. It was. I think it was like Reddit kind of. Reddit. I say everybody's gonna go to YouTube. Like they still yeah. got YouTube. Speaking of Reddit though, like they got everything on there. I feel like YouTube is more for like, like long videos. Though. Think so? <laughs> no, bro. They got shorts. They got now. shorts now. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. But like, it, I don't know. I feel like it's different. I don't know. World Star still has some bad ass shit. Yeah, but <laughs> hey, World Star. Yeah, hey, but I remember same, this shit. But they, <laughs> but they had some raw videos like, on there. Damn, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, I used to watch World Star, but I used nah, to, every day after school. I used to have an app, but then they started putting ads in there, and that's when I was like, no, I said I can't, I can't watch the World Star yeah, back yeah. in 08, 09, like the 2012, like it's that still was a. Pretty good, bro. Is it? So he said fights. He said good videos. Pretty good fights on there. back then. No B. It's come a long way. You get more knowledgeable things on there. Bro, you still go there? Fights, music videos, yeah. yeah. Where, where at? World Star. You yeah. still, y'all are still on World Star like this? Think. I'm a little bit younger <laughs> than them, so I get there, it. Like, you bro. know World Star. Yeah, Remember, yeah, like, yeah. everything. People I, watch the I fights. I thought it was just fights. We need to upload uh, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. No, but they have music videos like Lil B, OJ, the Juice Man, Gucci Man. Like, a lot of people do. We need to do some no jumper stuff. We got to get someone to have a fight in here and put it on World Star. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's always wanting to exploit people. Um, That'd be so funny. if y'all know anybody. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but hey, that's messed up. For the few. <laughs> hey, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. No, but but you said you had you said you had your company and stuff. Now, like, so how, how did how did you start you that? <clears throat> so I started wanting to buy rental properties. So, so I was when, like, what age? At what age? Yeah. 25. I was 25. Um... And I was like, okay, I need to start buying rental because that's how wealth is built. You know, you have a lot of properties, you rent them out, you finish paying them off, and then every, all, all your tenants pay, you know, like basically your lifestyle. So I was like, okay, I need to start doing that. So that whole year I saved up. I was like, all right, I'm going to buy my first property, and I bought it. And I was like, damn, that was kind of rough. Like, I just, all my savings for a whole year just going to property. I did nothing. I didn't go on vacation or nothing, right? So th- that's when my girl was like, hey, uh, why don't you like flip properties, you know? kind of risky you know it's like it's like what if i lose it you know well i started looking into it uh did some research you know i found a uh, ryan pineda's mentorship i don't know if you've ever heard of it he has a mentorship where they uh he's just had a wholesale had to flip properties and it was like an eight thousand dollar course yeah yeah it was it was expensive at the time i think it's more now i think it's like 12 13 thousand something like that and so i was like took the leap of faith and i took it i was like oh well i'm gonna do it you know so once I did that, I was like, well, now I kind of have to, you know what I mean? So, but, but also, like, while, meanwhile, like, uh, I was reading books. I did a lot of YouTube. I'll wake up, watch YouTube. Um, and then that whole year while I was, like, learning all that, dude, I did, like, full-time Uber Eat, DoorDash. Uh, uh, and then I, I was bartending, you know, full-time really as well. grinding, though. Dude, I was grinding, dude. I'm talking about 80-hour weeks yeah. for, like, a whole year. Just, you do, right? just to build that capital to be able to do my first like flip property mm-hmm. once i like i feel like i had enough knowledge you know from the course i jumped in started looking on the market started making offers off market too you know from wholesalers and stuff like that and i, I found my first property and i i got on i got into it and i'm i'm actually closing on it in 10 days nice hopefully <laughs> well it's got to be a good feeling to even be able to talk about that stuff now are you about to yeah. close it yeah 10 oh, days damn. yeah 10 days i'm hoping i don't want to get too excited because uh the first week it was on the market I got an offer for like almost asking price. It was like a couple thousand dollars below asking price. I was like, let's go. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Dude, a week and a half before closing, backed out of contract. Man. I like, do you feel like I do you feel like they do some crazy stuff where they back out and then they send someone else to go back door and buy it for a little cheaper? <laughs> Dude, it, it almost I think that's weird, right? Oh, yeah. Well, you, you, you guys have experienced that? No, nah, I just I think it happens though. I think another yeah. company will see to. which like they, they get someone excited and, and they're like boom, they come back door and make another okay, offer. So I feel like companies don't know, but I feel like if anybody's were to play something sketchy like that would be agents. 
Yeah. Like nothing mm-hmm. against agents. I like agents. My wife's an agent, you know, but um, like I feel like if like let's say a certain agent from a certain like realty group, like let's say went under contract in my house and then like they backed out of contract, like, hey, they accepted this much, go ahead and offer them offer them this or that. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> it, it, crossed, yeah. it crossed my head once or twice. I mean, you know it's possible, I mean? something. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because like, I'm under contract again, and I feel like it's just taking forever. Because I went under contract almost a month ago. We don't close for another 10 days. I'm like, dude, this is kind of sketch. I'm just kind of hoping it closes, yeah. you know? Just yeah. ready to get rid of it. Go on to the next one, man. Yeah, yeah that's, all, that's what it's about, you know? Just learn from, learn your mistakes on the first one. Mm-hmm. And then go. I'm, I mean, I'll be making a little bit of money on it, you know, but yeah, no, nothing crazy. But you're not, looking at the bigger picture. I'm end. looking at the big yeah. picture, man. All the all the lessons I've learned, you know. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get more more efficient on the next one, you know. Make more money, do it faster, not hold it for like eight months, mm-hmm. you know. And that's it, man. Just well, move on. To be honest with you, it wasn't all your fault because you know you had like some like downs and like the repairs. And yeah, stuff. I, ha- I had a. Uh, that's tough. Yeah, I had like contractor problems. Uh, also, like. I didn't really understand the rehab process, you know, because it's my first one. So I wasn't really so sure on, like, the rehab amount, you know. Uh, we, You thought it would be just... I trusted my contractor to tell me, like, how much he think it'd be. Mm-hmm. And he was like, oh, it'd be, like, 30, 40, 50, you know, some, something like that, right? It ended up being, like, 65 yeah. on the rehab, yeah. But thankfully, yeah. like, the market actually went up. Yeah. So my, my ARV, which is, like, what my resale value was going to be was, like, 110, ended up being actually 130. By the time I was done, nice. you know, I'm under contract right now for 120, but uh, dude, I'll take it. It's not, yeah, it's not I mean, and think about where you first started. Like, did you ever think you would be up there, like working? It's it's kind of crazy to think about it. It's only been like two years since like I even had that thought mm-hmm. of like, oh, I'm gonna invest in real estate. See, you know what I mean? Two years and people think a year is a long time. I thought he was just fast, gonna. Right? I thought he was just gonna keep bar hopping and like. Bar <laughs> <and> <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because, oh, he kind of down and out, just not know like, what you wanted to every do. Every time or? I would go on Snapchat, he'd be like drinking with his friends. Hey, like, hey, 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 you know what the fuck it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I swear. That's just, nah, yeah, you, dude, you think all these people are your friends? I mean, they are. They're no, I really like. But like, I mean, like we were talking about the bar. It's the same people. Yeah. I fucking love you, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna by the studio I mean, tomorrow. I'm not against like going to bars and stuff, but whenever not at you all. gotta get your shit together, you know, like, cause you gotta think about it. the bars are always gonna be there. Like five years, ten years. Spend so much fucking money, yeah. and you, you'll be able to listen to everybody's problem next week. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you also get older. Hangovers are worse. Hey, that's what I was about to tell you. I was gonna say you must have woke up with the hangover that was bad one day and been like, nah, man. hey, not that. It's really not true. <laughs> hey, you know, not just one, multiple, multiple. Yeah. And you don't even remember the long ass nights. Hey, that's that's what happened to me. Yeah, <laughs> they hurt. They hurt. Yeah, they hurt. You gotta go to work the next day. Fuck, man. Hey, hey, I was talking to Munis in the oil like an idiot. Yeah, Bro, I'd be <laughs> hot as hell after chilling with him all night. You, did you have to go to work like that? In the oil field, climbing the units, I'd be all tired and shit. Fuck, like, oh, bro. I, what hey, am I doing? When you're 20, like, 21, it's easy, bro. But you, you get, you get like, I swear, like, just five years older, dude, it hits you. Dead. Especially, yeah, I didn't really start getting fucked up till about 17, 18. Like, I kind of did pretty good. Like, I was around it, but I would just drink or smoke here and there. I just didn't really... I was more into music back then, and then, I don't know, you get older, you get sucked into it, and then the parties get live, and you're like, oh, <laughs> shit, oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, it really, life hits you. Because now you're graduating. Yeah. Probably went through your first love, or, like, for him, he had his first kid. Hey, like, first now you gotta <laughs> <laughs> Now you got to go drink. You're like, man. Yeah. And he's like, this left me. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I say, uh, you know, uh, it's just good. Yeah, you know, like, you got then you end up with now, too. So, like, you got to wake up early as fuck in the morning to go to work. Yeah. And so, so just be drinking. And you now can... you're an adult, so you're yeah. drinking because you're an adult. Like, man. So I'm going to take the heads off. And then now, yeah, just. Yeah, that's, hey, that's one thing I don't ever get mad because. All my problems is that I made for myself. Yeah. Like that. Like, shit, I, I went to the bar all the time. Say, that was a well known. Not just this story yeah, we can uh, talk about. Yeah. yeah. I said, I was a well known bar hopper. Yeah. And then, uh, shit, I don't know. I, I guess. Mean, I feel that, like we've seen everybody here at the bar, like, at least once. Yeah. Like, uh, I don't know. But then, like I said, the same thing how you said, like, you see the same ass people. Yeah. And they go out with like like five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> say, look, that's how I learned this trick. He said, that's how. Hey, no, but then they go out, they go out with like five dollars, and you're like, damn, like, and then I'm like, I'm buying them drinks and stuff, and I'm like, shit, like, it adds up to, yeah, bro. like, this is where I want to be, yeah. Said, yeah. Especially if you're a baller and you realize you're spending all this money on people that <laughs> and you, you, he you got see, me. You see, 40, 50 year olds are have been going yes, there for bro. years, yeah. I have yeah. been like, going there for 20 years straight. <laughs> and, and, and if you think about it, bro, that's where <laughs> you're gonna go until you make the decision not to go there anymore. Yes, you know what I mean? like, people that's, can't that, let the I bar think that's go. what's scary. Yeah. The older you get, like you're 29, I just turned 32 in February. It's it's life had already started, you know, setting, I'd imagine, for all of us back 
a while ago, but it's just some people I don't feel like it's not gonna click till too. No, late. yeah, yeah. it's, it's, it's like, kind of crazy. They just think like, if they miss a week and they're gonna miss out like so much at a bar. Bro, like, you gotta buy new clothes. There was like seen. the like, same ten know. girls yeah. walked in. Yeah. <laughs> like shit, I ain't got Tracy yet. Yeah. <laughs> and like, I ain't got Hillel yet. The bars aren't gonna go anywhere. Though. They're, they're, they're gonna stay there, you know. You can you can go back a month or two, and there's the bars is still oh, gonna thanks, be there. Oh, the know? same story. Like, yeah, the bitch still cheating on me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's kind of depressing, but I mean, yeah. we all need it though. Because like, like when you go through a stacking phase, like you kind of hermit yourself on the road. You gotta kind of socialize. I think it's just when it becomes, you know, yeah. too repetitive. Yeah. It's, it's just it's getting unhealthy. out. It's getting out. It's so hard, you know, because some people don't. You well, know? yeah, and you can kind of lose that where it's weird until you get used to it again. Like when, like I don't know if you guys went through like a stacking phase where you didn't really want to fuck with nobody. I'm, I'm focused on my mission. Oh yeah. Kind of cut the road off, and then you get back out. It's kind of different, but <laughs> then it's, it's really the same. It oh, just yeah. feels like it, and you're like, what was I missing? Oh yeah, I disappear like for a whole year and shit, and then you I'm have to sometimes. I, yeah. for sh- that's where you really find yourself and Not, your next look, plan. That's another thing. Did y'all lose any friends? Say why? Why y'all were uh, like getting to where y'all were going? Like, I wouldn't really say lose. I yeah, would say, I would say like drifted lose. apart. You know, because I said a lot of people like, like man, that's stupid. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's, not even, yeah. it's not even just that. Because a lot of people that I, I like went out to the bar where they're all doing good. You know yeah. what I mean? Like they're all doing their own thing too. They just like we just kind of drifted into like I guess you. Different environments, like they're like like I think one of them is uh, he's a radiology tech. Thank another you. one's a cop, you know. Another one like works for like the government. So it's like hard for y'all just to be able to just go meet up. Yeah. It's like I know they ain't doing all that, and I'm still at the bar. So I was like, I gotta do something. Yeah, yeah. not as good way to think. You know what like, I mean? Yeah. No, that's good. though. that's a good way yeah. to think. Like yeah. shit. But hey, then you we could have be our, jealous. Yeah, we have. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, pull up. I'm sure, you're, I'm sure you're like a big inspiration too. Like being all your older brother is doing something, never gave up. You know, that's yeah. something I always look up to as well. Oh yeah, like I said, In like, my I, I think it. Like I said, I never knew I was gonna do this, and uh, like it's a big accomplishment too, you know. And I'm gonna keep going. But he's watching yeah, you trust life, you know. Hey, so even funny. if you want to do something different, you're yeah. watching him right. do it. So hey, y'all don't even you know, have anybody. Y'all don't have any family or anything that went to college or did anything. So you don't have anybody to show you how to do so it. That's exactly, crazy. Bro, that's like, what I mean. Like he's a predecessor that, yeah. for. 100%. I feel like I'm like the first person like the medical field in my family. I think that's how I feel. Yeah. Besides my stepdad, but when y'all have kids, then you know you can put them through college, and then that's where you break that cycle. So yeah. it's yeah. neat, like to think yeah. about, like y'all are the first generation of what could be a bunch of you know successful, you know, yeah. dynasty. Pretty yeah. much. Yeah, I feel like we're we're both like growing in our own way, and like like now you know we can go back to bars and stuff, but like now that we have our shit together, you right. know, like, we you we rather go on like, vacation now, or yeah. something. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah that's right. that's yeah. my thing is experience and life now, like going to true, see things. Like, yeah. That's why I was like, damn, the bar, like I can go drink in another country. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. But one bar fight or one ride home, you know, and you're like, yeah. man, I wasted that strike on that. Like, yeah, you know? like literally, like I remember one time, this was like like eight months ago, like. I was working at the hospital here, and like I hit up my friend from Austin. Hey, you know I'm um, I'm working at the hospital. I got my my schedule already, and I'm off every other weekend. I didn't even have to ask off. He says, "All right, bet." We booked the ticket to Vegas, and we went that weekend, and then we came back on Monday. Shit, hey, that's the shit that I like to do. Just some, yeah. you know, but that's still you're not in the same place. Like you're maybe right. That's not just what you're doing all the yeah. time. Yeah, yeah and maybe, so like and unless you go like, somewhere, that's the goal. Hey, so that's the but goal. Like you, Vegas, somewhere else, you might be like, I want to move to Vegas, not just yeah, casinos. You might right. like the scenery. No, yeah. But I mean, visiting places might like you might think you want to live in Texas for the rest of your life. I know, I know I want to live here just because it's so. No, slow. I, I mean, like, I like, I like, I like travels. What yeah, I was getting yeah. at, like, yeah, yeah. See, I've traveled, but I like coming back. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. It always sucks you back. I said, chill. Once I'm here, I'm like, I'm chill, and it's slow. Like, I can go. It's not loud here. I said, it's just, it's beautiful. You know, you can call. <laughs> right. uh, you can get on that phone and call people. Like, if you get a flat tire, just little small stuff right. you, like, don't appreciate oh, sometimes. Yeah. That's what I think about when I'm in Dallas and I see someone on the side of the highway and Some it's like, their, their, their cars broke down. Yeah. I'm like, that sure, sucks man. to be them. Nah, no, just because the traffic's <laughs> going, like, who the hell's going to get yeah, to like, you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You call somebody up, they got five minutes later, they're over here. Yeah. yeah. But at least I got them numbers, you know, like, the people yeah, come yeah, for yeah. you and get you out of there. I ain't got to pay them, but you... They're going to come sweep you off. Like, <laughs> yeah, go like this, like, move you over to the yeah. side. <laughs> like, man, get out the George Bush doorway. I know. <laughs> man. That's funny. No, hey, that's fucked up. No, nah, it, it sounds bad. <laughs> <laughs> but, shit. But y'all know what I mean. Shit. No, yeah. I ain't saying that. like, bigger cities, too, you know. Like, here, I mean, like, the bars, too. Like, you can literally go by yourself anywhere. You can literally yeah. find somebody you know, you know. The only thing I like about the city is, like, it's... The thing that was hard when you, I first moved to Texas, like up north, people don't just stare at you unless they have a problem with you or like they know you. Down here, like it's, it's southern hospitality. But in Dallas, I like how even though it's more crowded, everybody minds their business. Like, I don't, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you would think like eating next to someone, 
like I don't know, they're at a whole different table, but the tables are all close together. But mm-hmm. no one's worried about you mm-hmm. here. If you're eating that close to someone, you're like, fuck, they can hear yeah, what yeah. we're talking about. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, shit yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, they're more conserved, you know. Like, yeah, you know, like, yeah. Here, like people look up at you. You can't just walk into anywhere, like, because especially if you're not, like. Always there, they're gonna be like, Who the fuck is this? Right. He'll be like, I ain't never seen him before. Where he come yeah, from? Yeah, you know, like, Dallas, they don't give a fuck. Yeah. They just happen to have money. Like, welcome. Yeah. Sit down anywhere you yeah, want. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, like a yeah, whole yeah. different environment. Yeah, and no one's worried about you. Like, no one's talking shit because the way you're eating or like they can hear what you're saying. They're, everybody's just in their own world. Yeah. And that's why I like to go like different like uh, places and like cities and stuff too. Like not just like Dallas, but like in like different states like mm-hmm. Mississippi, New York, Miami. Just like, different food. Yeah, different, different type foods. of people oh, for yeah, sure. Dude. The food. What was yeah. your favorite state? <laughs> steak. Oh, right, steak. Miami or like Florida. 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 Yeah. What about you? I like Florida too, bro. Florida. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna I mean, this is like sunny, right? Times. The beach is okay. What city though? Man. Miami. Miami. Yeah, I like yeah. I like Key West more than Miami. I've been well, uh, to Destin. Destin's pretty nice it's too. It's chill. Like Miami's too fast for me. It, it reminds is, me of a witch talk. Yeah. 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 You can get I, you can get around on golf carts there. Like my dad, <laughs> oh, my dad yeah. works out on there. a little yeah. golf yeah. cart. You can ride around. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. 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 like what people think. It's I bet like, we've been so, to New York yeah. once. Yeah, New York. I would never live in New York. It's, no, it's yeah, not. Your, oh, it's no. Just, there's uh, a lot of Peruvians there. I mean, there's a lot of everything. There's a lot of everything there. But it's the cold, or is it the environment? It's just like no. I feel like Mexicans, Mexicans did not make it up to New York. I went, they only had one street for Mexicans, and <laughs> everybody like, else was yeah, like, uh, it's too cold for Mexicans. Yeah, <laughs> it's like they stopped, like Mexicans like stop in Kansas, and it's they're like, hey, hell so they, no. They're like, that's too much. They're like, yeah. once you get up there, they, they got one street. The, some of them like make it a little, but it's more like uh, like Central Americans, they, they end up yeah, getting they up do. there, and a lot of Puerto Ricans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cubans. My, Miami, they have a yep. lot more like Hispanics though, but like, they, they like, got a lot of Cubans. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of Cubans <laughs> yeah, and stuff. Crazy. But honestly, Arizona. I want to live in Miami. It's just like too expensive and stuff. I probably go like an outskirt, maybe. Yeah, like Saint Petersburg or something, or Orlando. I probably Orlando's probably yeah. nice. Yeah, 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 I would live there. Miami's too much, but I'll. They said there's a lot to do in Orlando too. Yeah, there's this place called uh, in Orlando called Disney Springs. It's kind of like it's kind of like Vegas, but like small and a lot cleaner and less sketchy. Like a cleaner Atlantic City. Hey, he's like he's like people are trying to sell you weed outside the uh, casinos like, hey, in, in Las Vegas. They're like, come on, man, yeah, they're dude. like ten dollars, man. They're like, uh, that's Oklahoma now. <laughs> just just imagine Vegas without all the sketchy stuff. Yeah. And with all like just the nasty gas. smell. Hey, what's that shit called? <laughs> what's the shit gas called on the board where they yeah, all import so Vegas people stink? Uh, <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Well, I Dude. will say it's probably hot as fuck there, so they smell like onions. They, 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 smell, they smell like yeah, a casino. Yeah, he said they stink. Bro. But damn, you <laughs> like said it's nice there. there. What? Who said that? Where? Him? Where? In Vegas? Yeah, he said the nah, bro, smell Vegas, good. there's bums on the ground. They sleep, they sleep <laughs> nah, on the fucking bro. street, on the and, strip. They don't give and, a fuck. Bro, and they don't care. They're like, hey, you got money? You're yeah. like, nah. They're like, fuck. They're, they're like, broke ass bitch. They yeah, yeah, they yeah. They get mad, yeah. <laughs> they're like, you're here to gamble. They're like, <laughs> idiot. Yeah. I'll be pissed. I'm like, you need a fucking sleeping bag, bitch. Yeah, bro, in front of the Bellagio, there was fucking bums there. Like, and people are selling bottled water, and they're probably just going to get in fucking faucet water and just like, there you go. They're like, $10. They don't care. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, like I go to the other ship. The other ship is actually more chill. Oh, you talking about the old, the old, the old ones, like where the golden yeah. nuggets? Both of them, bro. Huh? They're weird. Both of them. No, the main. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, the other one. Like right, like no, the, the other one's even more weird to me oh, because there's people on. doing fucking like side acts and shit, like fucking <laughs> weird <laughs> shit. Like you'll see, like like man, you'll see, man. I seen a, a guy was doing <laughs> lap dances dressed as a girl. <laughs> no, they get they like weird, a little circle. Yeah. Like, I didn't see that though. No, because that's like how it is in Vegas, bro. <laughs> Come on down. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's, it's weird like that. No, 100%, dude. Like, no, and, Vegas and is really like that. Yeah, they're, they're, that's crazy. Hey, yeah, man, it's fun, though. He's like, whatever. Yeah, I bet. I bet. <laughs> he said, no, he was, it stinks, though. He was right because it's fucking hot as shit in there on the strip. And people were just walking in there. Yeah, sweating. just not even thinking about it. Just. And they're probably sweating while gambling, like, fuck, I done lost the house, baby. Uh, no. <laughs> no, bro, <laughs> hey, you, can you imagine how many people, like, go to <laughs> Vegas and they lose their money and they really just got to stay there? And they probably imagine having a plane ticket back. They stay there. Like, they gamble all their money away while they're there yeah. because they're addicted to gambling and they fucking and end up having to stay there. underbelly. That's crazy. Yeah, they end up on soft white underbelly for real. Nah, because there's people, like, in Phoenix, I guess they have a real bad fentanyl problem in Arizona. And there's people that not like from Vegas and California that ended up there like either for work or whatever they got stuck there like and it's crazy there's no they, they gamble shit you know it's just yeah like, like there's, everything <laughs> you don't have a way home. they get too caught it's up it's not even that. really funny though but that's what I was thinking <laughs> <laughs> laughing no nah, but I mean because it's it's him no nah, I like no. I only go for the craps I like playing craps because they let you drink for free yeah. while you're playing. <laughs> Oh, and, and in Vegas? Yeah,
Cosmopolitan. Yeah, I fucking <laughs> Cosmopolitan. Yeah. So and we're just like playing like Jack Black or whatever the fuck it was. <laughs> Black, Black, Jack, Black, Jack. Jack, Black Jack. Yeah. This nah. <laughs> and bro, like people were just like going crazy, just gambling, throwing yeah. money and yeah, shit. They get crazy over there. And yeah. The, and the, and the, what's you crazy see some is, ballers there. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, you I see bet, some I bet. ballers there. And you, you'll see people like just drunk like. Bro. Hit me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I give sure. it a fuck. Like, dude, they don't care. They're like, give him another drink. Like, there was some dude I met from Oklahoma while I was there, and he, he, he must have had oil money or something because he just had a shitload of chips. Like, man, they were like all $500 chips, too, just lined man. up. And, I, and I'm just going over there with like 200 just just to try. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, all right. He just he's throws like, the chips on the table, and he's miles. like that, just like, like tipping them. And oh, I was like, yeah. yeah. And I, he was like, He's like, where are you from? And I was like, where are you from? He's like, <laughs> He's like Oklahoma. I said, oh, I said, I'm from around there. Yeah, what did he say, though? Was he cool? He was drunk as fuck. Yeah, <laughs> broke ass yeah. bitch. Hey, man, he was just, he was just chilling, just yeah. drunk. Yo, they be paying for your rounds. He, like, like, oh, he was like, oh, once yeah. you start spending so much money, they're like, keep oh, him yeah. here. We got to keep him here. Was the guy next to us, bro, he was like spending like $5,000, like, Around us, that he was like throwing us like five hundred dollars chips, a thousand dollars chips. He's like giving them some. Bro, I'm telling yeah, you, you, you really see some ballers out there. Like it's, it's, yeah. Vegas is really crazy. Yeah. Think it's, about the boxing matches and stuff they have uh, out there. Like everything is. Yeah, that's what thing. I got to go see Dave Chappelle. Even Raiders Dave the Chappelle. new stadium. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that was uh, yeah. on the book at least. I really want to go back because like, they they just opened up like the the sphere, so they're doing oh, concerts yeah. inside there yeah. now. So like whenever I went, they were still working on the inside, but the outside was just like still glowing. Man, I was Damn. wondering what that yeah. was. I was that like, that's badass because people advertise on it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I said they're making a, a replica of Kansas City Chiefs Stadium. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, no, no, it looks nice though. Like right they, there. Yeah, no, nah, bro, it's nice. Like, no, I mean, why the Kansas City? Just because it's round like that. Oh, okay. Because it was only halfway built whenever I seen it. But it's the like it's like a, it's a total circle. Like it's yeah. and all made out yeah. of screens. It's just badass. crazy. Yeah, yeah. I, I've seen the sphere. I thought you were talking I've about the, the last time I went yeah. again. Yeah, the sphere is badass. Dude. They already yeah. had like their concerts and stuff, and it's just like er, the inside is just like a bunch of like a big old screen basically. And like, I don't even know how to. It's what the it. pyramid in Memphis wanted to be. Pyramid of Memphis. Oh, I think I did pass that. Did you go in it? It's a Bass Pro Shops or some shit, right? It is. I saw it when I moved down to Issa. It's, it's been years. Biggest, it's, the it's, one. it's the biggest one. Are we still on? Yeah. I okay. Uh, so, um, <laughs> now that I got you guys alone, <laughs> what, brings, what brings you out? Nah, fine. Nah, so, hey, uh, what are your plans? Nah. Nah, oh, we're asking, the, we're, we're asking nah, the questions. Security? <laughs> nah. nah, so, uh, what ask questions? Uh, nah. Now we're talking about gambling, but nah, none of the gambling shit. I don't ever gamble because my luck is just like, I will lose yeah, like probably yeah, like five I, I just, grand. Yeah, I don't, I don't gamble. Fuck we that. went to the casino. We went to Bill's Catfish for the first time and uh, stopped by the casino. The small little casinos right up there, you know. <laughs> my well, boy was playing cards, you know. It's, I, it's funny because you were acting like you knew him, like he was on the mix. <laughs> I go to the casino here in Oklahoma. You play the cards? The or Comanche? Just, no, bro. I just go to like one of like the machines and stuff, and then I just like yeah. put like twenties, fifties. It's bad. I really go there to drink, like if other people. Yeah, go. yeah, yeah. I'm, like, I'll go and hang out with some friends, but yeah, because like, a lot just, of people like to go. I'm like, I like losing. Yeah, I, I had terrible yeah. luck with fucking gambling, bro. I'm just Man, because your win did not pull out, and it won't be like yeah. that, like good of a win, but it's. Like whenever you're on the twenty bucks turns into one twenty, you're like you're like you're down a, to zero you're on a row, you know, and you want to keep going, but you got to know when to actually stop because yeah. <laughs> you're gonna get fucked over. Yeah, it's not fun. It's like Fresh Prince when uh, Will Smith and Carlton were gambling. You remember that? They gambled everything away. I mean, it's oh, I haven't people. seen that episode. Nah, it's funny. It's <laughs> no, but like, <laughs> I don't do that. I just like drink, eat. Yeah. Chill. I mean, they say the food's up. You said the food's good, right? And and yeah, Comanche well, or Kiowa? Which one? Comanche. Yeah. Fire. Fire. Comanche. Fire. Yeah, because they'll, they'll, like, pay people to eat there. Like, right, they the get burgers and stuff? Cheap, cheap, cheap too. Steak and everything. The, 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 the one here? Yeah, yeah, they have, like, a whole they have a steakhouse. Cafe, they have a little cafe up front, yeah. and they have the restaurant in the back. Okay. It's a restaurant, though. Yeah, because they'll, like, have people, like, there, like, steak, lobster, <laughs> dinners or something, the shrimp. I never knew that. I thought they said, like, like, I'm going now. Well, nah. I mean, I don't know if they get, like, burgers and stuff, but I didn't know they had all that kind of stuff. Yeah, the restaurant's in the back. Oh, in the back? Yeah. Like, around the casino? Yeah, like, back past the table games and stuff. Oh. I don't know. The cafes up front. Yeah, I've never eaten there. I just I knew people that worked up there. And yeah. They yeah. make people like they give people free play and shit, so they come back like, come see us again. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't know that. See. Yeah. I didn't know that. I guess we gotta go gamble. Where? Casino. Where? Comanche. 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 <laughs> oh, the casinos here are no like good. That. No good. No good. <laughs> hey, the ones in Vegas are way better. He said no good because oh, we just no went good. to the yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh man, you don't want to go there. <laughs> hey, we need to go to Vegas. That's where you win. Vegas. <laughs> no, nah, not for the odds here. I don't. Well, know. I was just telling. We were talking about gambling. I was like, we just went to Bill's Catfish. I was just. <laughs> I was like, I, just, I said just right up there though. No, I don't. I don't know. I'm not big into the casinos here. It's not. Uh, no. Yeah. It don't. They don't hit the same. I, I'd imagine <laughs> you just out there and where Curtis the Cowardly Dog grew up. Yeah. No. Yeah, it's like in the middle of there. nowhere. Yeah. No, Vegas. No, Vegas is the desert. Yeah. Well, if you go, well, I mean, like the casinos here, like no, it's kind of in the middle of nowhere. No, I'm talking about if you go out there, there it's really a city in the middle of the desert. It really is. There. Yeah. They said the mob uh, used to bury bodies out, you know, in the desert out there. Should I believe? Because they built the city. <laughs> I don't. I don't doubt it. Not even. Yeah. Because right? <laughs> you know, like who's gonna go out there to look? Like ain't nobody bothering to go out in the sand and shit. Like, ah, one of us out here. Why <laughs> so hot too? So. Yeah, I, I went at the worst time too, like in August. Besides oh, in the year. yeah, hell yeah, Besides it's in like the year? 110 oh, degrees yeah, yeah. a day. Yeah, do we Every walk day? anywhere, bro? No, it's dry heat though. Like, that shit is so it's it not burns. humid. Yeah. yeah, it really fucking burns you. My my first year, 08, we had a bad heat wave or something. It was like that. Like, oh, no, it's worse than here. Bro, yeah, I'm, oh, when yeah, I moved yeah, there, yeah. it hit about 115, 116. I, yeah. You got to think I never felt that though. Oh, uh, but the desert I'm heat. Like, uh, this is a little humid here. There is dry heat and that shit. You'll notice, you'll start getting tired. Like when you're it's walking from like the casino to, to casino. Oh, yeah. I was like, holy shit. We were walking everywhere in the strip, and I mean, yeah. it was hot. It was hot. You went in yeah, like there's no August. breeze, you right? In August? I went in August. It was like the hottest time in there, bro. Yeah. I think that's whenever I went. No, nighttime I went in July. is cold, right? Or is that just the winter? What's that? What? Uh, nighttime, it gets really cold and really hot. That's only the winter time. I don't even winter. think does it even get that cold. Yeah, in the winter Some parts it does. I, I, uh, I just went recently, like. Well, like a month or two ago, I think I went. <coughs> and it was cold. It was cold as fuck at night time. You're regular there. Yeah. I know real, I know <laughs> real regulars. Truth, man. Nah, I, only, I just went just Who real you, fast. Carlos? We played, uh, I played craps. I just wanted to go play craps. That was it. How long did you stay there? Shit, just a night. Oh, that's it? Yeah, I just played and then left. That was it. That because if not, shit, I'd go broke. Hey, yeah. so I'd be, be like, mad. He'd be like, Keys, can you uh, sell yeah. me some money? <laughs> shit, that's what happened. Well, I swear I'll get that it was Bro, That's what happened the first <laughs> time I went there. He was, was doing it for me. Hey, I had to keep on doing that because I stayed there for like a week, I think, or a little under a week. And I was like, hey, can you send me some money? It's like, because it's expensive out there. Yeah, it is. It is. So like one, two nights is good enough to do it on the weekend. and then. Well, I, hey, I you, you, you get discounts on the casino, though, like uh, the hotels. Mm-hmm. Like if if you play regularly and stuff like they'll give you huge discounts. I have a oh, buddy that does that. Yeah, so and they'll, they like, do they'll like, send it to him. Say I only know one guy. Yeah, it's a regular dude. It's like <laughs> I'll go. I'll go. Dude, it's cheap. It'll be like fifty like, bucks a night. It's crazy. Room, I got you. I got no, you do like oh, we yeah? talking about eating and oh. shit. I was still hungry, and uh, shit. He was like, I got food. It's fun, bro. But I wanted to go to Caesar's Palace, crazy. but they got that club in there. Man, I want to go to like a real the Omnia, yeah, dude, that like club boxing is crazy. match or something, like just go see there. some or like WrestleMania or something like one time before I die. <laughs> yeah, I don't like wrestling no more. Just growing up on it, like just something. Just yeah. to say you did it. Yeah, just something live like that. WrestleMania would be crazy. I think oh, we yeah. went to like what Money Night Raw. That's still no, cool. That was it. Was here though. Yeah, it's Money Night Raw. It's still like yeah, it's on the bucket list. Even though they're all getting old, like Triple H and shit. Yeah, he don't even wrestle no more. Yeah, he just be out there with the mic. He's a manager, right? Yeah, it's crazy. And I only know that because of YouTube, like, <laughs> like Facebook Reels. Like, I don't watch it no more because right. it's like totally different. Yeah. But I, I thought it was real at R- first. Hey, no, because R- we grew up in that era, yeah. like with The Rock and Stone Cold. Randy Orton's still there. Uh, what, what, what's that wrestler's name that spits in, in people's face if they're not cool? Carlitos. <laughs> yeah, that guy, yeah. <laughs> he's back. <laughs> hey. He said they're all coming back. Yeah, <laughs> man. No, I legit thought it Ray was Mysterio? real. Ray Mysterio, Ray Mysterio. Yeah, he's still, he's still wrestling. I think he stopped and then he came back. Well, he's got a son that's wrestling now. Yeah, For real? Does he really? Yeah. Oh, you're from San Diego. You know. That's boo. The six hey, one hey, nine, that was all whatever show. it was called, that little kick he did. Yeah, man. Were like oh, y'all, y'all weren't here earlier. The old man that came over here earlier, he's my friend. He was saying that the UFC is fake, like wrestling. Oh, Leo, oh, y'all would have liked him, though. <laughs> <laughs> he he's does. Cool. I said, tell one of them then. He's an old school drunk, kind of, but like he's got like some funny stories. And he's not lying about some of them. Damn. <laughs> just, just some, though. No, yeah, it was funny. It was funny though. He said, he was like, he was like, uh, he was like, the UFC is is fake, just like uh, wrestling is. I said, man, I said, I don't know. I don't know. Night, night, did you he watch said, that live, right? Yeah, he was talking hot <laughs> shit. I, and he means, <laughs> I argued with him about the Confederacy one time because I was like thinking about like how do you support it, but he has a whole argument for everything. Like, how was it? Oh man, Dad, he he thought he was a white Confederate. Damn, <laughs> through and through, he's like, I was drinking out them goddamn water bottles. <laughs> <laughs> like he really like he didn't back down. I was surprised. I was like, I never. No, he's he's but, old, but he he's stands on though. it though. That's yeah. what's cool about arguing with him. Like yeah. he won't change his mind. Right. He's, he's so I respect. Win. I respect it. Yeah. His opinions. Yeah. Yeah, because I like he likes me. I like him, and 
he he doesn't change just because of who he's talking right, to. Right, that's cool. Who? <laughs> nah, I, Sorry, no, I, I wish I, I wish I would have met him. He's funny. Yeah, no, y'all. I think y'all would have liked him. Like y'all would have got a kick. Like if you think we're funny, Leo just way up here. We're down <laughs> Hell yeah! Here. And you know what happened? He just he just walked in and we we're recording in there, and I just let him get on live. Just I was like, here, put a mic on. So go ahead. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hey, and he'd be like, you little bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Puta madre. Hey, he, I was like, hey, no, I told him. I said, tell us some uh, ghost stories. <laughs> oh. He's like, no. Marcus about when he got hung time. Yeah, no. He's like, no, for real. He's like, they did. He's like, the he's like the bed started levitating. I said, what? The like, thinks a little boy chasing him too. Like. I, 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 I got drunk one night. We were like, was it around Christmas time? Yep. I, I just crashed here. I didn't feel like driving. He comes in to like help clean up and do whatever. He's like, have you seen him? I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> and you got to meet I'm hungover and I'm like, it's all bright. I'm pissed. We didn't have this shit tended at the time. So like, it was hard to even go to sleep. So I'm waking up to this shit after finally. He's like, nah, bro. He's been following me. I'm like, who? <laughs> He's like, I told Carlos. I'm like, I don't need you Carlos to <laughs> tell me. Like, I'm, get me the fuck out of here. Like, what's going on? Like, and he's like, nah, the fucking little kid. <laughs> nah, I don't even know, but he, yeah, it's just somebody that died. <laughs> I no, mean, it's not funny. I just, I would have to have him tell you. Was like, he drunk? Yeah, he drinks yeah, every day. Yeah, every day. <laughs> <laughs> morning, not morning. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah but, but but like, it's hard to know, like, is he really seeing this right, shit? Right, yeah, yeah. Or if he's just tripping? Yeah, well, because tripping. it's kind of sad. What if we don't believe him? And <laughs> he says he's getting haunted. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> is this sound crazy. Crazy. I take him serious, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but y'all would have fun meeting him. See, I'll take him serious to a certain point. Just, right. <laughs> that, that's what it is, to a certain point. Yeah, like, yeah. He'd be like, oh, I was flying. I but he's not lying, lying, though. In his mind, he's telling the truth. So that's what <laughs> He's dedicated to I mean, I know it sounds dumb. Story. But you know he don't back down. Like, he don't give a shit. Like, he really be like, no. I really <laughs> fucking seen it, bro. Yeah. <laughs> fucking white boy. Like, he be getting mad because I fucked with him. <laughs> but, no, he's funny. Look, I said, look, we did it. We did an hour 22. Okay, okay. So, like, so it goes thank, by fast, so right? Thank yeah. y'all. Thank y'all for watching. So that was the Grind and Prosper podcast. So come back again. So we're signing out.